No one is happier than I am that we live in a time when our phones can give us directions and our cars can tell us where we can find the nearest glazed donut covered with bacon sprinkles. But I think we all agree that artificial intelligence-wise, we could be doing a lot better. I mean, C-3PO was fluent in over six million forms of communication, and we dreamed him up like 40 years ago. Thankfully, we have the spirit of private enterprise and friendly competition to make us challenge ourselves, and it seems our next challenge is creating machines that are every bit as articulate, intelligent, and compelling as we are. I'm Hank Green, this is SciShow News, and if I were Siri, I'd be a little bit nervous. Last week, the XPRIZE Foundation, that ambitious nonprofit that brought us private space flight and tricorders, announced a new competition. A cash reward for whoever creates artificial intelligence so advanced that it could deliver its own TED Talk without human assistance and earn a standing ovation from the audience. TED Talks, as you probably are aware, are around 18 minute long speeches on big ideas, technology, design, innovation, etc. So it seems like a natural platform for a computer smart enough to lecture you on your topic of choice. But is it possible? Well, when TED's official curator, Chris Anderson, and XPRIZE visionary Peter Diamandis announced this new challenge, they said this territory is so new that they need the public's help in laying down the rules. Like, how long should the AI speech be? How long will it have to prepare it? How will the topic be selected? Should the entrants be actual robots or just programs? These kinds of things are important in determining what sort of intelligence we're looking for, because any computer could present a pre-written speech. A more intelligent computer could use data to assemble an argument on the fly. But would even that be enough? That's where the audience response comes in. The XPRIZE hasn't decided whether an actual standing ovation should be the goal, but the point is that six Success should be determined by what is known in AI circles as the Turing test. In 1950, computer scientist Alan Turing proposed that true artificial intelligence could be measured by whether a person using a program could even tell if it's a computer, or if the user could mistake it for another human. Since Turing first proposed his test, lots of machines have actually passed it, beginning with Eliza, an interactive program that conversed with users by charading his various characters, the most famous being a psychotherapist, in 1966. But a computer that's been programmed to act like a person doesn't prove intelligence. Lots of clever programmers have designed their machines to misspell words or use slang to impersonate humans. It's like not a Cylon here. Instead, our most intelligent computers are specialists, designed to do one task and do it well, but not as a human would. IBM's Deep Blue, for example, beat world chess champion Garry Kasparov in 1997, but it couldn't, like, identify the person it was playing against. Google and Facebook use statistical learning programs to tailor ads and finish your search queries, but they can't judge how much of a hipster you are. More than likely, the TED Talking AI will be a specialist as well, designed to search for and assemble data points in response to a topic. It probably won't be able to make analogies or tell anecdotes in its speech, although I, for one, would love to hear it reminisce about the old 8-bit days. Still, there are plenty of attempts, as you might imagine, to make computers think like humans. Google's new learning algorithm, DeepMind, is based on real human neurological systems. And Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have invested $40 million in Vicarious, a company that wants to translate the brain's neocortex, the part that sees, controls the body, understands language, and does math, into computer code. XPRIZE and TED say they don't expect their new AI challenge to be won in the next 20 years or so, but every year, TED may host two entrants to compete for it. They say that it's a way to track the growth of artificial intelligence and to generally contribute to the powerful dissemination of great ideas. You can disseminate your great ideas about the AI XPRIZE at xprize.org slash TED, and your great ideas about SciShow News on Facebook and Twitter, and in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching, especially to our super intelligent subable subscribers, and if you want to keep getting smarter with us, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe.